60 seconds later, and he would have burned to death. Just incredible video. Three Euclid police officers are credited with saving the life of a man trapped in a truck that was actually engulfed in flames. And captured on dramatic video. Jennifer Lindgren has a story you will only see on Channel 3. 11 a.m. Saturday, a 911 call on Babbitt Road. A pickup truck crashes, catches fire outside the illuminating company. Yeah, we just happened to be in the area. One minute later, and firefighters saying this would be an entirely different kind of news report. It, it happens very fast, whether it's in a vehicle, whether it's in a house, absolutely. Euclid police officers Jose Alcantara, Adam Beasy, and Corey Screnji arrive before firefighters using small extinguishers and police batons. They work to free a 38-year-old man unresponsive in the driver's seat. Try to get that person out of the vehicle and uh, onto safety, so you really don't think about what you're doing. In his 11 years as a policeman, Officer Alcantara has never been a part of such a dramatic rescue. You're watching through the eyes of an officer. The department is testing a new technology, small cameras attached to sunglasses. He wouldn't be here if it wasn't for their efforts. As for what led to the crash, police say the driver was under the influence of drugs and lost control of the vehicle. The pickup truck driver was headed south on Babbitt Road when he crossed the center line, hit this light pole, went into the grass, turned 360 degrees back over the road, then came to a stop against the side of the building. No matter the circumstances, these officers were willing to put their own lives on the line to save another. It's our job to do it, and if I had to do it again for anyone, I would. That video is just amazing. I'll admit it was on my computer at work here, and I watched it over and over. Yeah. So what happened to the driver? He was impaired at the time. What happened to him? Well, he was taken to the hospital where he was treated for smoke inhalation, but they also charged him for this incident. He got charges for OVI and for operating a vehicle recklessly. Chris, it's just a good thing that these officers weren't hurt. Yeah, absolutely. You see how they really put their life on the line Absolutely. For this. All right. Thanks, Jen.